Hi, Luke here from Technicamps, and today I'm going to give you a talk through what Bacon Cipher is, how to encrypt and decrypt a Bacon Cipher, and things like that. So let's start off with uh, the Bacon Cipher itself. It was named after a guy called Sir Francis Bacon. He's quite an important person in history, but he doesn't really get talked about much, uh, especially in schools. Um, he came up with something known as the scientific method, um, which is really, really important. You'll have used it loads in science without really noticing. Um, but why we care about him, him today is he came up with a steganographic method for hiding messages by using different fonts. So how do we decrypt a Bacon cipher? Um, so we'll receive this message, and what we're going to do is step one, we're going to split it up into five letter chunks. We're going to replace the letters uh, the, of the message we receive with A's for uppercase letters and B's for lowercase letters. We're then going to find the combination of A's and B's in this table that you'll see in a second. Uh, and that will correspond to a hidden letter. And then we're going to repeat that over and over and over again until we've worked out the entire message. So let's do the example. So here's the table I was talking about. And here we get sent a message which says, I went to school today. It was raining. No, I do not like it when it rains. Now that's a pretty boring message, but you can see that sometimes there are capital letters where they shouldn't be, like in the middle of a sentence. Um, so the two font types we're going to use are font type A, which is going to be uppercase letters, font type B is going to be lowercase letters. So we do step one, we break it up into a five letter chunk. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And we convert these five letters into either A's or B's if they're uppercase or lowercase. So we've got an uppercase I, so that'll be an A, an uppercase W, so that'll be an A, an uppercase E, so that'll be an A, an uppercase N, so that will be an A, and then a lowercase T, and that will be a B. So we get A, 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 B. We look at the grid at the top for the letter that goes A, 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 B. We see that it corresponds to the letter B. So we write down the letter B down. That was the first letter that was hidden in this message. We then look at the next five letter chunk. So we get capital T, capital O, capital S, capital C, capital H. So they're all capital letters. So it's A, 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 A. We find A, 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 A in the grid. And we see that it corresponds to the letter A. So we write that down. That was the second hidden letter. And we continue in this manner. So capital O, capital O, capital L, lowercase t, capital O, which is A, 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 B, A. So we've got A, 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 B, A. We look for that in the grid. We find A, 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 B, A is the letter C. So we repeat this over and over and over again. And eventually we've worked out the entire message and we find out that the message bacon is good was hidden inside this boring message. Now it's all well and good being able to decrypt these messages, but maybe you want to send one yourself. So step one for writing your own is to write out the message you want to hide. Um, we then convert that, that message, the message you want to hide, into A's and B's using the table on the previous page. Uh, we then write out a boring message, um, and that needs to have at least five times as many letters in it as the secret message. And then we convert the boring message between font styles A and B uh, following the uh, A's and B's from our secret message. So we'll do an example of that as well. So our secret message is dog. Um, converted into A's and B's using the table. We have D is converted to A, 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 B, B. O is converted to A, B, 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 A. And G is converted to A, A, B, B, A. Our boring message uh, is wouldn't harm a fly. So dog has three letters in it, so we need a, letter, uh, a boring message with three times five letters in it, which is 15 letters, and this has 15 letters in it. Okay, uh, so now that we've got our boring message, we're going to start changing the fonts. So we look at the first five letters, which is W-O-U-L-D, and we change them from A's to B's, depending on our converted A's to B's in the second line. So we've got a capital, a capital, a capital, and then two lowercase letters. So capital W, capital O, capital U, lowercase l, lowercase d. We then do this for the second set. So we should have a capital, three lowercase letters, and then a capital. So we get capital N, lowercase t, lowercase h, lowercase a, capital R. And we repeat one more time. So we've got capital A, capital A, B, B, A. So we should have capital M, capital A, lowercase f, lowercase y, L, and uppercase Y. Okay, and that's how we do a Bacon Cipher.